Taurus, hi, welcome to your read. We are going to be looking at your tarot for this week. These are YouTube general readings, so take what resonates and ignore the rest. If it doesn't resonate, I don't know. Um, if you'd like a personal read, my email's in the description below. Send me your name and time zone. And I'll send you all the info that you need for a personal reading to book with me. And that reading will resonate with you, trust me. Um, Taurus, Taurus, let's see what we got for you. The world, some sort of ending here. Okay, Three of Swords is a challenge. Okay, easy, 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 easy. <laughs> some sort of heartbreak. I feel you, okay? I've only laid two cards here, and I'm feeling a lot of pain, Taurus. I'm feeling a lot of pain, but uh, the Three of Swords here, that's, that's some sort of temporary pain. It'll go away, trust me. Queen of Cups, you're here because you're crying. Okay, you can cry. Um, I'll be here with you, you know? It's okay to cry when these things happen, and if... um. If you feel stupid for crying about some sort of ending that happened here, and we'll figure out why this ended. Um, well, when I see Three of Swords, it could have been a third party. Um, don't feel stupid, you know. And It's funny because when I cross these two cards like this, I see kind of like angels praying over here your pain, okay? I don't know if you can see that. There are angels on top of that Three of Swords praying for your pain here. and I feel like there's healing coming your way, okay? I don't know what this is, but it's it's really tugging on me here. Oof, I can't even talk. Um, there's the Knight of Swords in the past. Six of Coins is your strength. Good. Strength is always good. And uh, you know what balance looks like. Balance is a 50-50 exchange. You send me a letter, I send you a letter. Um, you send me a text, I send you a text. Maybe they weren't doing that. Uh, four swords here in the upcoming future. Yeah, a lot of healing. A lot of healing coming up for you. Uh, and I hate using healing, but when I see something like this, it's like, yeah, like... Yeah, I just did Aries read, and they, they got out of something intense too, but it's kind of like they're ready to jump back on their feet. You're not. And that makes sense. You're one of the Earth signs. You're a little bit slower. Mm. Ooh. Normally, I don't like the Tower card, but I like it here at the end of your read. We'll get into that later. But, um... Yeah, you're showing me here why you're here, Queen of Cups. Um, look, you're not dumb for crying about whatever this is or having emotions or giving anybody a chance here. Don't think that way with the Queen of Cups. In fact, use that because, I mean, I hate that I keep comparing you to the Aries read, but Aries here had a blockage with emotions. Um, you're showing me you don't have that blockage. You're showing me that you know how to open the cup, give the emotion, and close it. And I feel like you've closed it. So that is actually one of your strengths because it's opposing your strength here of six of coins of wanting to understand balance. Whatever it is that hurts you here, I feel like you can shut the lid off forever to whatever this is. And you're not kind of expecting this back, which is good because when you're not expecting it back, it allows for healing inside of you to move forward into newer things later on. You know, um, the only problem I have with Four of Swords and, you know, being the typical cookie cutter tarot card reader is that after a while with Four of Swords, 
you do have to get out of that because that's a very comfortable place once you get into that healing and then you don't want to come out and then you'll be a Leo and you'll be like, nope, I'm okay here. <laughs> I don't want to move. And Leo is a fixed sign, you know, and those are the fixed energies, um, you know, the fixed signs tend to have like fixed things, like fixed karmas as well. You know, so. Let's see here, though. What's being hidden from you? Ace of Swords. The universe is hiding Ace of Swords from you. I feel like the universe is at play here with whatever happened here for your own good. You know, no planets. You could have all the terrible planets and all the terrible configurations when it comes to your love story here. No planet means to ruin your love life, but there are certain karmas here, and I feel like a certain karma has been cut from your life, and it's kind of been served here. Now, if you got to keep repeating this, repeating this, repeating this, or if you have that pattern, then maybe it's time for you to reach out to some sort of astrologer or a tarot card reader to kind of figure out some sort of remedy for this, okay? I can't give a remedy on YouTube to you specifically with this reading because I don't know your planets. I could affect something, right? I don't want to do that. Um, but you could, it doesn't have to be me, but when I see the Ace of Swords here, there's definitely a new beginning for you, um, cleansing of the karma, so to speak. Um, what that is, I can't really tell you, and the universe is kind of hiding that from whenever I see a card here in this position, it's like the universe cut this out of your life for a reason. Was it a good reason because this person was bad for me? Was it a bad reason because I did some sort of past karma? Was it some sort of, you know, I, I did some bad thing in my past life here? I don't know. I can't really tell you that's being hidden here in the energies, okay? We'd have to figure that out or you'd have to reach an astrologer, you know, Vedic astrologer or somebody to figure out why these keep, things keep falling apart. I'm very specific, but I mean, I can only go so far with the YouTube read without adding to my own karma. So like if I give you a remedy to do here now, like if this was a personal read and I had somebody's planets, I'd be able to give a remedy. Sure, I'd be able to give some sort of assistance and guidance. But there's different types of readers and things like that that they can help you. Like um, I've recently reached out to a Vastu professional and they were able to help me with something personally, right? I'm not the god when it comes to astrology and tarot. I'm, I have problems too. But I reached out to somebody that knows more and it was as simple as putting a plant on this wall instead of that wall. And it fixed things. So, you know, you may have to reach out to somebody here. Um, it's how I see that. Yeah, reach out to somebody and, you know, if you've been delaying that because you know you feel it, and then obviously there has to be some sort of planetary explanation to why things like this keep happening, right? If this keeps happening to you, I feel the need to say that. If this keeps happening, you know, it's nothing wrong with you, you know, because you're not showing me anything wrong here while you're at the read. There's nothing wrong with you. This is totally normal. You might say, hey, Joey, but all my friends have normal relationships. Why can't I have? Why is it always that I do exactly what my friend is doing and you know with her boyfriend or his boy her girlfriend whatever it doesn't matter but um why is it that i can't get that well I, you would have to check that i can't answer that on youtube now nine of cups here is your advice go towards your wish fulfillment yeah don't change that you know take time to heal and then realize it takes work to get your fulfillment here six of cups here is in your hopes and fears. Some of you think this was kind of like a soulmate or something. Okay, if it was a soulmate, sure, fine. Um, let it go. Um, you'll find a new soulmate. Or, you know, there's this thing about training your new soulmate. You might want to look into that. I, I don't know what book that is. If you know in the comments, somebody mentioned that to me and I didn't, I, I got lazy. I didn't look up. But it was about training your soulmate, <laughs> your new soulmate. I don't know. I think like some of you might look into that. Um, just because something's destined doesn't mean you have to kind of keep it. Maybe they were just destined for a little bit and that's that. 
And I like the tower at the end because something's going to fall apart for you. And I do feel like for some of you, this is getting a remedy from some sort of astrologer or some sort of help from um, asking for assistance from the universe, uh, some sort of guidance here. I feel like that's coming your way or you guys may do that. But at the same time, I feel like this tower here is rebuilding everything it is when it comes to love in your life here. I like this. Let's see the advice for this read here. Magician, Six of Wands, Four of Cups. Oh, there's a magician. I told you, some of you have to reach out to somebody that knows about remedying things in your chart maybe or uh, maybe this is an akashic read or something or i don't know whatever it is but there is the magician here and i think you do need to reach out to some sort of magician and believe me i'm not doing self-promotion doesn't have to be me um i could care less actually i'm really lazy i don't like doing a whole lot of private reads but when i do them i do them and um here's the what was it six of wands with the four of cups so yeah Somebody that's going to remove these blockages. And um, that is the advice here with that for the Taurus. Yeah, when this tower comes down, I'm going to pull... I'm going to pull three cards for this tower really quick. Because I feel like this magician, whoever it is... You may have a friend that does astrology too. That's a thing on there. Um, hold on, let's see. When this tower comes crashing down, let's see here. The devil, justice, three of wands, karma served. Yes. Some of you just need to reach out to an astrologer. If this keeps repeating, if this has just happened this time, I wouldn't stress it. But if this stuff keeps repeating in your life for some sort of reason... I would reach out to somebody that can kind of straighten this out for you to help the universe come in and support you moving forward, okay? Because I have the devil, justice, and three of wands, and to me it's showing me that, yeah, it's purging the devil out, and it's kind of like an aha moment. When I have devil and the tower together, it's like an aha moment here, all right? So that's my advice for you for this week moving forward for you, Taurus. That's all I got. See you guys next week. Take it easy. Bye.